Hi everyone, welcome to the next video on the GCSE Revision Countdown. So it's 98 days to go until the GCSE Mavs exam. And in this GCSE Foundation video, we're going to focus on the topic of order of operations. Some people know it as BODMAS or BIDMAS, but I like to call it order of operations. It's a bit less catchy, but it just reminds me it's the order of operations. So you've got your brackets, then you've got your orders or your indices, so like your powers, your squares, your cubes, your square roots and things like that. Then you've got your divisions and multiplications and they often seem important. So if a calculation has just got multiplications and divisions, you work from left to right. And then finally, you've got your additions and subtractions. And just remember that if a calculation has just got additions and subtractions, you work from left to right. So in this video, we're going to focus on the order of operations. And if you do have the revision cards, cards 41 is the order of operations, the revision card. So that might be quite useful for you as well. So remember, I'm going to go through order of operations now. And then at the end, I'll talk about the practice questions and, and yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So our topic today is order of operations, or some people call the bod mass or bid mass. I like to call it the order of operations. So here's part of the code mass revision cards. So, so the order of operations are brackets. So you do brackets, first of all, then any orders or indices, that's like your squares, your cubes, your square roots, and so on. Then any divisions and multiplications, and you work from left to right with those if you've just got divisions and multiplications. And finally, you do any additions and subtractions at last. And again, if you've just got additions and subtractions or subtractions and additions, you work from left to right. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says to work out 5 plus 2 multiplied by 9. So whenever you're looking at this question, let's look for any brackets to begin with. No. Any orders, any squares or cubes or square roots? No. Okay, do we have any divisions or multiplications? Yes, we've got a multiplication. So we have to do this multiplication first of all. We have to do 2 multiplied by 9 to begin with. So 2 multiplied by 9 is equal to 18. So let's put 18 down beneath that. So beneath 2 times 9, we're going to put our 18. And then we still have our 5 plus in front. So we're going to write 5 plus and then 18 because 2 times 9 is 18, so we've got 5 plus 18. And now we've just got an addition, so we do 5 plus 18, and 5 plus 18 is equal to 23. So if we had 5 plus 2 multiplied by 9, we'd have to do the multiplication first, which is 18, and then do 5 plus 18, which is 23. You wouldn't do 5 plus 2, 7, and then do 7 times 9, because that's not the right order of operations. You have to do the multiplication before the addition. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says to work out 3 plus 5 squared. So do we have any brackets? No. Do we have any orders? They're like powers. Yes, we've got a squared. So we need to do 5 squared to begin with. So 5 squared, that means to multiply by itself, 5 times 5 is 25. So that means we let's write down beneath the 5 squared, 25. And we still have our 3 plus in front of it. So we've got 3 plus 25. And now we've just got an addition, 3 plus 25 is equal to 28. So that means the answer is 28. So if we've been asked to work out 3 plus 5 squared, we have to do the squaring first. So we do 5 squared is 25, and then we do 3 plus 25 is equal to 28. You wouldn't do 3 plus 5 and then get that answer and then square it, because you have to do the squaring, the 5 squared first. Okay, so that's the order of operations. Okay, let's have a look at some questions now. And again, feel free to try these questions if you want to, and to press pause and to try the questions yourself. And then if you then want to check the answer, then press play. Okay, so our first question is to work out 9 plus 4 in brackets, multiplied by, and then in brackets again, 100 divided by 25. So here we've got some brackets. So we need to work out our brackets first of all, and then we need to do our multiplication. So let's do the brackets to begin with. So 9 plus 4, 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. And then we've still got our multiplication, and then let's work out the other bracket. We've got 100 divided by 25. Well, let's divide 100 by 25. Let's get up in 25s. 25, 50, 75, 100, that's 4. So 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. So what we've done here is we've just worked out our two brackets to begin with. We've worked out this bracket and this bracket. Okay, now we've just got a multiplication. We've just got 13 multiplied by 4. So we're going to do our multiplication next, because remember it was brackets, then orders, then divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So we've done our brackets, and we've now got just finally our multiplication. So 13 multiplied by 4. Well, to multiply by 4, we can double it and double it again. So doubling 13 is 26, and doubling again would be 52. So that means our answer would be 52. Also, there, if you wanted to, you could use your column method of multiplication. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Put a 2 down, carry a 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So again, we've got 52. So in this question, you'd have to do the brackets first of all, and then do the multiplication. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So again, feel free to pause it and try this question, and then whenever you're ready, press play. Okay, in this question, we've got a few different things to look at. We've got to subtract, we've got a cubing, and we've got to multiply. So let's go through our order of operations. Do we have any brackets? No. Do we have any orders? That's like squaring or cubing and so on. Yes, we've got a cube. So we need to do this cube to begin with. 
So let's work out 2 cubed. So the cube of number, you multiply by itself and by itself again. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 cubed is 8. So I'm going to write that directly beneath the 2 cubed. And I'm going to write the rest of the calculation around it. So I'm going to write 50 in front of it, 50 subtract in front. And then after, I'm going to do multiply by 4. So I've just worked out the 2 cubed is 8. And then I've written down everything else in the same order. Okay, now we've done our order. Now let's look for now let's look at our calculation. We've got 50 take away 8 multiplied by 4. So do we have any divisions or multiplications? Yes, we now need to do the multiplication. So we now need to do 8 times 4. And 8 times 4 is equal to 32. So let's write that directly beneath that, 32. And then let's write our 50 subtract in front of that. So we've now got 50 subtract 32. So we've now just got a subtraction. And 50 subtract 32 is equal to 18. So the answer would be 18. And that's it. And that's it. So today we've gone through the order of operations, the brackets, orders or indices, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. One thing I just want to point out is if you had a calculation such as this, 20 subtract 4 plus 5, if you had something like this and you were asked to work this out, because you've got no brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, and we've just got additions and subtractions, when you've got all of the same level, so additions and subtractions, you just work from left to right. So 20 take away 4 here would be 16, and then plus 5 would be 21. So in this question, you'd work from left to right. You wouldn't do the addition before the subtraction or anything like that. That. It's just that whenever you've got divisions and multiplications or additions and subtractions, you just work from left to right. So in this video, we've looked at the order of operations. In the description below, I've put a link to the practice questions. It'd be very important for you to practice those and just make sure you're really super duper confident on order of operations. And that's it. So it's very important you remember the correct order of operations, the brackets, the orders, so your, or your indices, your squares and your cubes and so on, your divisions and multiplications, and then finally your additions and subtractions. So I hope you found that video useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I forgot to mention in the description below, remember there's that link to the practice questions. It's very important you do practice those practice questions. You do try those practice questions because the more practice you do on every topic, the better. So those the links to the practice questions are in the description below. And keep an eye out for tomorrow's video, three o'clock, and I'll see you for 97 days to go to your GCSE maths exam. Cheers, bye.